Hey everybody, welcome to Studio 4. It is only Monday, February 18th. <laughs> but we just got back from our weekend, so it should be yeah, fine. Yeah, it, it's fine. It's President's Day. Um, this is a tough day because most everybody else is just kind of off hanging out. Right. And, and, and we're working. Yeah. Um, and I, this is one of those made up like holidays. Like oh. I feel like we should have President's Day on Election Day. Oh, so you don't have to, that would make sense, right? Like, then you don't have to go to work, you have no excuse, you can go and... You have no excuse. We always talk about voter apathy and we don't get out and vote. We don't uh, participate in the um, That in the, seems like a great process. idea. And so it's President's Day. What better way to honor our presidents than, than to going vote. to vote? And so, um, You yeah. are so wise, Andy. Well, always, you are wise. I'm sure somebody would find a problem with my, my proposal there. No, I think there. that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Did you have a good weekend? What'd you do? Um, really, we just kind of hung out. Um, it was, it, the, the wind was just so the terrible. The wind was we so bad on Saturday, especially. couldn't do anything outside. Yeah. Um, so we hung out with some, uh, we did a little date night on Saturday night. Went out to a couple of different places. Have you ever done this? This is fun. You go out and have appetizers at one place and mm -hmm. you leave. And then you go have like some tapas or appetizers mm -hmm. at another place. And then you go have dessert at another place. You're just all over the place. I've sort of come to the conclusion that I don't like to eat a meal. I just like to eat snacks. Yeah, this that's is my, basically this is my like. That's new basically thing. what we did. We just ate uh, a bunch of snacks, um, and you know, I wanted to go do Rory's. Does you know, we wanted to do Rory, but I pudding. knew it was going to be. I knew it was going to be so busy. Yeah, because it was just it was a really over from Valentine's yeah. Day weekend, yeah. and it so, was so busy um, for sure. Yeah, indeed, indeed. You know what I did? This I didn't do much. Tell and me I, about you it. know, and I have actually. I've realized that I'm very, I've been very boring lately. You know, I've been doing the keto diet. You've so been, I'm just like, you're, you're not preparing any for, fun. You're, you're preparing for Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras. I am, and that's all I can think about, to be perfectly honest with you. But anyway, um, Cody and I watched this show on Netflix, perhaps you've heard of it, called In Plain Sight. Mm. Abducted in plain sight. Oh no, don't, I, there's no, 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 no way I, no, no, I don't no, no. watch that. No, 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 you have to watch it. It is compelling. It is very mm -hmm. interesting. No, go watch it. It's it happened in the 70s. It's a long time okay. ago. Okay. It's fine. And it's so interesting the way times have changed like just societally from the 70s until now what we know like Cody and I just sat there the whole time and we went, "What? What?" Really? Like, it's very interesting. It's really interesting. So y'all, I mean, it's on Netflix, and so it's, it's just an hour and a half. It's one, it's like one documentary. It's really, really interesting. Okay. Anyway, you, you probably don't want to watch it with your parents, though. Mm -mm, no, there are a couple of things. You don't want to. Really? Do. Yeah, right. just watch it. Okay. Don't watch this is all good advice, with your, with good, good advice that you're handing along. Yeah. Um, did you hear about this Starbucks thing? About no. the okay, so they have decided that they want to help you decide what drink you want to get. Sometimes you don't know what to get at Starbucks, you know. Oh, true. Okay. okay. Um, the company released its own Starbucks zodiac chart that recommends beverages based on personality traits for each zodiac sign. Really? Okay, Andy, you're a Taurus. Okay. Yes. Your drink is an iced matcha green tea latte. Okay. Okay. What are you? What do you think? Um, I'm a Sagittarius, and so, but you know what? You know, didn't they come up with a secondary December? Zodiac sign, I don't know. So Something I think like I'm, that. I I am, my whole life I've been a Sagittarius, so that's what I'm good with. Uh, it's a mango dragon fruit Starbucks refresher, which that's fancy. That, that doesn't sounds interest to me that at all. That just like you, just real No, fancy. it doesn't. <laughs> I don't I don't think I've ever par purchased a, zo uh, um, a refresher ever. Um, I'm not into Zodiac stuff anyway. I, I'm not. I, you I, don't ever read a horoscope? No. Ever? I, I, I have in the past. Uh, I, I can't tell you when the last time I looked at one. Oh. I don't know. Um, it might be interesting for you to look at after the week. Don't don't look at it the day of. Look at it a week after and, and go, oh, that did applicable. happen. Or no, that didn't happen. Because sometimes I think there's a self-fulfilling deal that happens. That you wake up and you read that. And then all of a sudden you have, you have now read that into existence and you try to live your life in a way that goes, so that way you go, ooh, ooh, that did happen. As opposed to not looking at it and then looking at it maybe a week later. But what if it's a positive one and you want to just live your life in a positive manner, right? Then wake up and be positive that day and don't worry about it. Well, don't let, don't let the horoscope help. tell you, don't let the horoscope tell you, and then you just, you do it. Because then if it says you're going to have a bad day, guess what? Hmm. You've already, it's right. already in your mind, I'm going to have a bad day and, and, um, Come hell or high wind, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a tough day just mm. because you kind of spoke that into existence. So that's just my I, I'm just it's just shooting, full of it today. Shooting from the, I'm full of something. <laughs> let's be honest. Let us be let's be honest. Do you like the Golden Girls? Um, Did you watch? I never really watched the Golden yeah. Girls. Uh huh. Um, I I do. I, I mean, I love Blanche. 
You do? Yeah. Okay, Sophia, Dorothy, Blanche, and Rose want to thank you for being a friend. Here's what they're doing. In February of 2020, a Golden Girls themed cruise <laughs> is setting sail from Florida. You can dive uh, into your favorite 80s sitcom aboard the Celebrity Infinity, sailing from Miami to Key West into Cozumel. There will also be activities including trivia, bingo, dance parties, bar crawls, and costume contests. Tickets for the cruise range from $986 to 1181 I wonder what you get. What's the extra upgrade you get with the Golden Girls? Right? Like... You do get you get to, unlimited you get to, drinks? Yeah, or do you get to see them maybe uh, compete in a you know some kind of contest? I don't know. It could be something. I think that might be fun. Have you have you ever known anybody to go on one of those? You know how they have Texas Country mm -hmm. cruises no. and rock and roll cruises? Craig Vaughn from the Armadillo has gone on a Texas Country cruise. He said it was so fun. Really? Yeah. You know, I, I'm a bit afraid of that kind of stuff. Like of I, cruises? Yeah, I... I'm, I don't handle water. I can't oh. see him very well. So I think I would be more anxious than anything. People say that you don't even notice, though. Yeah, right up until a, a, um, a rogue wave, like, <laughs> tips over the boat or something. Oh. Well, and then, look, I'm, I'm, already, I'm already paranoid about that. And so last night, you know, Piper loves horses. So do you remember the Black Stallion? Uh -huh. Do you remember that movie? Yep. Well, the, the, the boat goes down. Right. And so now my girls are terrified. We're watching the boat, like, flip over. And they're like, Dad, oh, my, does that happen? I'm like, well, um, I believe it's happened in the past. So they're never going to go on boats. You, look, they you just did it. You fixed your problem. You never have to go on a Disney cruise as long as you live. That Congratulations. Coming up on the show today, our good pal.